Hey, this is Damien Foster here and welcome back. If you're new to my channel, welcome to the family. Please click the like and subscribe button below. Okay guys, so as you can see, my new couch is here. I'm so happy, yo. I've been waiting for like, I think it's been a month since I have ordered uh, this new couch because the couch I had, if you've seen my, I don't know if I showed my couch in my previous vlogs. I think it was my Independence Day vlog. I, I, I was on the couch, super, super small couch. And now I want to show you guys. I'm gonna show you guys um, my new couch okay so yeah the new couch just came in and um the guys put it together it also came with this nice table Ooh, i like it it's nice it's comfortable i can i'm more relaxed now i can actually sit sit down and chill and watch tv in the living room so i want you guys to put in the comment box what do you think of my new couch set i'm not a fan of the cat pillow thing but anyway i like i like animals i like animals so it's okay so tell me guys what do you think what do you think about my new couch okay i'm so excited today because i am actually going to a recording studio in china for the first time i don't think it's like a the last time I spoke, yeah, the guy told me that it's a, it's, a, it's a recording studio, but it's more like a home, like a home uh, recording studio. So I'm going to check it out today and I'm going to record a song. You know, if you guys don't know me, uh, I love music. I love singing in my spare time. I think I sing all the time, whether I'm cleaning or if I'm in the laundry, doing laundry taking a sh yo when i'm taking a shower it's a whole concert in that shower <laughs> so yeah i'm gonna take you guys come along with me we're gonna record a song um in china recording studio and another thing i don't know what i'm gonna do after that i think i'm gonna i might go to the gym i'm probably gonna go to the gym but i don't know yet because you know these things you you have it planned and then something else happens so i'll see what happens so guys let's go let's go I'm currently here at the home studio. I'm gonna sing some song. I, just, I think I'm, I think I'm just gonna sing one song, just one song. And this is my buddy here. You just remember Joe. 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 Okay, his name is Joe, and this is the producer. He will be. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how to say. He will be the one, you know, doing the the engineering type thing. I don't know what to say. How do you say? <laughs> <laughs> how do you say? How do you say? Um, Sorry, we have okay, to use okay, okay. we have to use a translator. I don't know. Okay, how do you say my Chinese? I really need to learn Chinese. Um you will be producing, right? Producing. Is it producing? Producing. Mm. Yeah. Ah, okay, okay, yes. That's the word. He will be producing and I will sing and he will produce the music. Okay, cool. Okay, okay. All right, okay, let go, let go. Let go. In this world, it's just us. You know, it's not the same as it was. Going home. 
just so doggone ho. It's hard to do these things alone. Just so dark, go and ho. guys so I'm finally done with uh, recording two songs at the recording studio well it's a home recording studio and I really enjoyed it you know um, the guy was pretty cool um, and he was very patient <laughs> because we had to record it a few times over and over again um, so I just ended up recording two songs and I will be posting it in this vlog so if you're watching uh, please stay tuned. Seems you cannot be replaced And I'm the one who will stay oh, In this world It's just us You know it's not the same as it was I got my eyes on you you left your mark on me, I want your I love and emotion and lust. I can't get over you. Left your mark on me, I want your So yeah, I know I said I was gonna go to the gym, but um the weather is quite quite rainy. I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. I'll figure it out when I get back home. Um but for right now I'm gonna head back home in this rain and I'm gonna grab something to eat. I'm gonna just cook something at home. I'm not gonna eat out today. So yeah, let's see. Okay, so I'm back home and the rain had, the rain settled a bit. So I'm just gonna pick up a package I ordered. And um, I don't know, I still feel lazy. I think I'm just gonna stay in. <laughs> I just have one. I got one package. Okay, let's go. Okay, if you haven't guessed it by now, I decided not to go to the gym. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna chill today. I'm just gonna chill today. I watch a movie. I'm about to watch. Ooh. I'm sorry. I'm gonna, I'm gonna watch this movie called The Gray Man. It's like an action thriller movie. I'm just gonna watch that and chill. Huh. Hey guys, so today I'm going to take you guys to an uh, e-bike store in China. Uh, I want to purchase an e-bike for my new place of work. Even though my school is not that far from where I live, I still want an e-bike. Um, I think it would be convenient for me. Um, in my old city, I was about one hour away from my place of work. So I got the big, the big one, the big e-bikes. But in this small city, I think it's better. And I think cost effective wise for me to save a little money. I'm just gonna get a, a more smaller, comfortable one to get me straight to school and back. So I'm gonna go there. I'm gonna meet my country maid there. Um, she also wants to buy one. And then I'm gonna show you guys around the store. And then we're gonna get the bike. We need to get the bike registered because in China, when you purchase an e-bike, you need to get it registered. You need to get it licensed. And I think that's about it. And then you get to ride the bike back home. And the thing that is very convenient with e-bikes in China is that you just need to charge it. You don't need to buy gas. You don't need to spend money on gas. And um, you just charge it. I think it's pretty convenient. It's cheap. You save a lot of money. And... Um, in my case, because the city is so small, maybe I probably won't need to be taking the Didi or taxi. 
as much as I need to or take the bus, you know? So I'm going to take you guys around. We actually found a particular store that we saw yesterday. We actually kind of went, uh, how can you say, window shopping yesterday um, at uh, uh, looking for e-bikes. And we found this one store where the, the, the owner, he was very welcoming to foreigners and he was even open to bargaining and giving us discounts. So we decided that we're going to purchase one from that store. So I'm going to take you guys there and let's go. it's convenient and it can get me to school and back and it's cheap it's affordable um let me give you guys a let me show you guys how it works so i just turn the key and um you use this this is gas so you pull it you pull the leather back for gas like this and it goes like this so this is the bike that i'm going to go with but i don't know what color i want because he has he has a lot of different colors he has green he has black he has red so i don't know and i also don't know what to call it so what do you guys think i should call it like Roar, what do you think i should call it like the bohemian spangla the bohemian spangla okay so i think i can call it the bohemian spangla so i gotta give you guys the story with this one so the lady here is the assistant to the boss she speaks english so i was about to purchase the little bike and then i saw this bike and it's my favorite color it's bigger and i started to rethink so i think i want this one so now what i'm trying to do now is i'm trying to bargain for them to get the price so they're initially charging me uh two thousand five hundred and i'm trying to uh get it down to at least two thousand two thousand three hundred rmb um so yeah this is what ended up happening <laughs> Yo, so I 
I swear I had promised to just get that, get to get the small bike. Ah, I don't know how I did it. Those guys are good. But um, I saw the bike. I didn't see that bike. I didn't see that one when I went there the day before. But yeah, I ended up purchasing it and I'm happy about it. It's a nice ride. I love it. It's my favorite color as well. Um, I wanted to show you guys uh, the process too, like in the community that you live in. When you have bikes, bikes, like e-bikes, uh, there's a particular place you need to park it. You park it in the garage, down, and then, um, yeah, down in the basement. But maybe uh, in my next vlog, I will show you guys that. Anyway, guys, I want to say thank you guys so much for watching. If you've watched it this far, thank you so much for watching. And if you're new, Welcome to the family and please click the like and subscribe button for future content on my journey of living in China as an English teacher. Uh, again, I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.